definitely is a common issue that all of us are facing, wanting to check into our devices constantly, frankly. And the reason is very simple. It's associated with the pleasure chemical in our brains, which is called dopamine. It actually gets released when we find a new bit of information or when somebody reaches out to us and we feel kind of cared about. There's so many ways that the um, activities that we're doing on screens releases this chemical that it's not surprising we all want to do it a lot. This isn't just psychological, but it's really physiologic. Kids' brains are wired to have the most receptivity to the dopamine that's released when we're multitasking and looking at screens. And so there's a reason why it can be so hard to get off of devices. The first step is defining achievable goals. In Screenagers, there's a scene where a teenager talks to me about when he goes out to a meal with his friends, they often put their cell phone in the middle of the table and they say, look, if anyone checks it, that person has to pay for the meal. Some scientists very much believe in the idea of tech breaks. And so to be honest with a group and just say, hey, you know, can we all just check our phones for 10 minutes and then put them away? I know a lot of couples are struggling with this in the evening when they're going to bed about how much screen time. This is one of the biggest issues that couples are facing now is how they interact with each other versus the time that they spend on screens. My feeling is to not take it lightly and to say, oh, this will pass, or oh, you know, why do you keep complaining? But to actually take it on as a challenge and to give it some time. Conversations, short ones, weekly, for example, can actually be uh, an amazing way to change the dialogue.